Proverbs 12, 19 says, Truthful lips endure forever, but a lying tongue is but for a moment. Proverbs 12, 19. Truthful lips endure forever. Whatever is based upon truth is that which corresponds to reality. And whatever corresponds to reality is what shall forever be. Sin will forever be sin. Good will forever be good. Evil will forever be evil. Uh, selflessness will forever be selflessness. The way in which God has declared things to be are as they are because he is the God of truth. He cannot lie. Whatever he speaks is as is, and as it is declared, it corresponds to that by which he has declared it to be and it to do. We know that the laws of nature reveal uh, that God is a God of truth. He's a God of order. We know from Romans 1.20 that God's invisible attributes and divine power can be clearly seen throughout his creation so that no man is without excuse. So whoever speaks truth, they're going to be seekers of truth. And when we become born again and have believed Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior and repented of our sins, we know that we can speak truth which will endure forever because we know that Christ died but he rose again on the third day. And we know that he is the way and the truth and the life. No man comes to the Father but through him. So when we speak truth, we speak words that will endure forever. Anything that is based upon truth will forever be true. But we know that uh, words that are filled with deception and, and filled with lies they are not going to last. People may lie and say certain things that are untrue, but that will last for but a moment. Eventually, that is going to come back and boomerang back to them, and it's gonna, they're going to reap what they sow. Those who constantly desire to sow discord among the brethren, those who are ruthless in their speech, those who side stories to fit their uh, agenda or narrative or to have people favor them over others, Whatever it may be, that is not going to last. It is but for a moment, and then it will vanish. Not the repercussions or consequences of it, but the, the path in which it has paved, which is but for a time. Because we know uh, that what God has made crooked, no man can make straight. And if someone speaks something that is crooked, it may, be, it may uh, lead them in a crooked path for but a moment, but the end of that is destruction and damnation. And so we need to seek God, and we need to ask that God would simply help us to always speak truth in any and all situations. Why should we breathe out lies? Why should we speak out lies and then live in the fear of being found out? Live in the fear of people figuring out what the truth is, and then our reputation is ruined. We must desire to protect our reputation as we are uh, following in the way of Christ and pursuing after him more and more each and every day. Because those who uh, speak the truth, the truth will endure forever. The truth will never vanish. It will remain so long as God is, because again, God is truth. And so may we, uh, may we know that a lying tongue is but for a moment. Eventually, those who live in lies, those who profess lies, those who continually live in deceit and speak deception, they're going to be found out, either in this life or the next. We see this time and time again on social media, on the news, on political spheres, on all of that. People who lie, they are being found out, and they are having to step down from their positions. They are being thrown in jail. They are being uh, tried all of these things. And so we, we don't want to be those who have uh, lying uh, tongues and, and deceptive motives on our, on our, in our speech. We want to be those who speak the truth because the truth endures forever. And so long as we are living in the truth, we are going to know the truth because it is the truth that sets us free. We know the truth is convicting, but it is also liberating. And if we are not willing to lay down sin, and evil and lying, we are going to forever live in the path and the way that leads to damnation and destruction. But thanks be to God that he is calling us. He desires for us to be beings who are truthful, truthful with uh, our circumstances, truthful with others, truthful with ourselves, and then seeking him who is truth, who is the only one who can change man, not only for the better, but eternally transform them and transfigure them 
into the image of Christ as they continue to pursue and seek after him who is the way, the truth, and the life.